Hey guys, Chef Katrina here, and today I want to share with you a quick video on how to add a video to your blog. This has been something that I've been doing a lot of recently, is making sure that I have a video with my blog. And the reason being, I want to share with you guys real quick, is that it's really important to engage your audience on two different platforms. Engage them with video, and also engage them with the written word. Your blog actually becomes a lot more powerful, and then you actually have two ways of which you're sharing content. You have a video, which will probably be up on YouTube, which I'm going to show you guys how to do. And then you also have the opportunity to post it on your blog, which gives you even more exposure. So as you're building your brand, as you're building your awareness, video becomes a very powerful tool for you. So how do you add video to your blog? Well, I know some of you are already thinking to yourself, I don't want to add video to my blog because I don't want to be in the video. And I get that. So, there's a couple of ways around this that I want to share with you guys real quick. The first thing you can do is there's something that's very free, very easy to do, and it's called Jing. All this is, is if you download Jing, it's free to download, it allows you to capture images on your screen and also talk about and record those images. So, say you're on this screen and you want to scroll down and you're capturing all the imagery here, you have the ability to do that with Jing. Right now, it's free to download. It's easy to use. You can add imagery. You can use text box, arrows. You can do a lot of really cool things with Jing. You have a five-minute window in which to do this, which is fine because you don't need a lot of, lot of uh, video when you want to just get clear, concise information to your audience. So Jing is a really powerful tool for you to use. So I recommend downloading it. It is something that I use especially for capture pages. The other thing you can use is there's something called ScreenFlow for the iMac users. So ScreenFlow is free for you guys also. And this is a really cool professional editing studio that you can create your screen capture pages and also edit it right here on your computer. So this is a great tool for anyone that's using an iMac computer. So definitely want to go with that route. Now, if you want to get a little more advanced and you want to see some really, you know, cool stuff, uh, TechSmith also has Camtasia, which I do use, and that's what I'm currently using to do this video with. So it's a screen rec recording and a video editing software. And basically, what this allows me to do is whether I'm using this video or if I'm using something off my phone or my camera or like that, I can put it on here and I have the ability to edit it. Uh, do some voiceovers and some really cool stuff. This is available for both Mac and PC users. So really great tool to use if you want to get a little more professional, willing to invest a little extra money in this. This is definitely an investment for you, but one that will pay off long term, absolutely. Last but not least, if none of this appeals to you, there is the option of the Google Hangouts on Air. Now, the only thing I warn with Google Hangouts on Air is that it tends to capture your entire screen, not just what you're talking about. So and there's no way really to edit it, to shrink down the size, to expand. So if you have some personal information or maybe your name and email that you don't want out there, um, with Google Hangout, everything is seen. Your whole screen is shared. So, you know, within this system here that I'm using, I can actually delete, shrink, and expand this imagery out. So that is something to think about when you get on here. Now, for some of you, if you do like being in front of the camera, you can do really simple ad video to here. You can use anything from your smartphone, the camera here on your computer. You also have the ability to use a video camera. Uh, another option that I do recommend is something called the Flip Video. Um, this is a mini camera that has an uh, external um, USB port on here. So I can just take video and then directly upload it onto my computer. So that's a really cool uh, thing. The prices vary on this one, but it's called Flip Video. If you want to look for it, I'll put a link down below in this blog also for you. Um, you can find it on Amazon too. So a couple of different ways to get on here. So you don't have to be in front of the camera to do video and add it to your blog. Now to add it to your blog, here's what's cool. I always recommend adding it to YouTube. Like I said, you want to have as many ways to get in touch with your audience and YouTube is a great way to do this. So when you do your YouTube videos, my suggestion for you would to be make sure you're creating a relevant content uh, video. I'm going to go ahead and just pick one right now because I'm doing the video for this blog. Um, and then what you're going to do 
is you're going to go to where it says share down below. And you can do this with any video. It could be yours. It could be somebody else's. It could be anybody's. But you want to get the embed code. So this is the embed code right here. It's an iframe one, which you're going to want to use. You can actually change the video size depending on your blog size. Mine currently fits a beautiful 640 by 360. I would then take this. I would copy it. So control C or right click control. Go to your blog post, wherever you're going to put this. I'm just going to quickly throw it down here because I'm going to edit this as I go. But I would go down here. Make sure that your blog post is in text mode because this is a, in written in HTM, HTML. You want to make sure that it transfers correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and save the draft. I've got a great storm going on outside right now. It's a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning, but zero rain. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, so we go to our blog post, and this is going to look a little different, guys. I'm in the editing phase of this one right now. But just scrolling down, and voila, there is the video added right into your blog post. It's as simple as that. So, guys, that's how easy it is to add video to your blog. I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you did and you're watching this on my YouTube channel, do me a huge favor. Uh, share your comments. Give it a thumb up. If you've got some other resources, please share those also, both here on my blog and the YouTube channel. Um, also, subscribe to my YouTube channel for some great information. I give away a lot of tips here on my YouTube channel. Plus, there's always some great, interesting, fun stuff here on my blog. So, just subscribe to my blog and get email updates. There will be a subscribe box down below right around here where you guys can sign up for my blog post and get updates whenever I post, which is pretty much every day. So, guys, hope you're having a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me here on how to add video to your blog. I'll talk to you guys soon.